What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you and today we got the all new Pixel 6 Pro to unbox. Do a quick overview. You know I'll throw up the link in the video description if you want to check it out. This is going to be the retail version so this is what you're going to get well, for everybody like myself that's paying for this out of their own pockets. I know you guys seen a lot of the uh, other tech reviewers maybe get some promo units. Well, this is out of my pocket. I'm going to do it for you guys. I try to do, and we're going to get to as many case reviews as possible. So the Pro, it's going to start at $899, which is not a bad starting point compared to other some other competitors. We're talking about the, the Samsungs. We're talking about the, the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max. So it's definitely a good starting point, I think, for this big boy. Now, if you go down to the regular six, I think that's probably where you're getting the sweet spot. 599 starting point. Now, obviously, you're getting a 128 gigs of storage, but that's pretty good for a flagship phone to start at 599 in my opinion and you're not going to sacrifice too much by getting that one over this one now this is the big boy 6.7 inch screen 5000 midland battery obviously you got the new camera setup you got the new look this is going to be a break you know i got the black because you there comes in a couple different color options i think i always find myself getting other colors but I wish at the end of the day that I went with a dark black or a gray. So I'm happy went with this one. This is going to be the 128 gig of storage, which is not, I think it was pretty much the only one that was available. I know you guys are kind of the same which situation. These are tough to come by. Even cases for this thing are tough to come by. So it's kind of a weird thing. I don't know if they kind of didn't, they, did, they weren't quite sure of the demand or what. But this one is definitely a hard to come by phone. So I'm happy to get this. Let's get right to it. Got a little tab right here. We got the TM Pixel. Presentation looks good. Let's get right to it to see if it's a hit or miss. Kind of curious how this one's going to be. Haven't been this excited about a Pixel in a while. Nice presentation. Oh, yeah, that is a that's a beast right there. So they've uh, done the same thing as other companies have done. They've done away with the charging brick, which is completely trash and garbage. You got your charging cable. And then you got your port. It looks so really nothing. There's no charging brick. That's pretty much it. You got your literature. Got the Google literature. And that's pretty much it. So companies, I guess, followed Apple's lead and uh, removed the charging brick, which is completely lame. But it is what it is, guys. So we're going to roll with it. Now, this actually feels really heavy compared to some of the other phones. This may be kind of on par with... Um, it's a big slab of phone. Let's be honest, I'm not going to lie to you. This feels really, really big. And it feels uh, really sturdy. Got the glass back. You can see the G logo right there. I like the new camera setup. This just looks unique. Um, very different than any other phone on the market. So they definitely did. They went out of the way to develop a new kind of unique style to this phone, which I appreciate. I know they've been working on that a while. Not a lot of people were a fan of the 5 just because of the specs. This is going to have the, you know, obviously this is going to be Google's own processor. So this one is going to be completely different than anything you're going to experience before. Comes in Android 12 out of the box. There we go. It does got a curved screen. So what that means is going to be for anybody like myself that's going to try to find a screen protector. It's going to be a pain in the arse. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's definitely going to be a pain. You got the curved screen. But it is, it feels very, very premium. This thing is completely premium build compared to, like, say, the Pixel 5. Everybody had their opinion about the Pixel 5, but premium was really not it. It kind of just felt a little bit cheap. Got the hole punch right there. You got full edge-to-edge -edge screen. Beautiful. It looks completely beautiful. That is a nice-looking phone. And, again, it's definitely a wider phone. It's not. It's very similar in terms of, uh, I would say, when I'm holding it to the Ultra from Samsung, or just in terms of how big it is. It's a, definitely a beastie phone. Let's go and check out and see if it wobbles at all. I guess maybe a little bit. You can see the camera. So obviously you throw a case on there, and that'll kind of flush that out a little bit, so you won't get the the wobble. And the black, the blacky gray glass back looks awesome. I really, really like that. Welcome to Pixel. So you can just see the form factor. Very, very beautiful. Speaker grill at the bottom. Power right there. Beautiful. Volume up and down. That looks really, really nice. Let's compare it to some of the other big boys on the market. Let's go and check out the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which is, again, heavy-duty phone. 6.7 versus 6.7. Now, the iPhone 13, you can see how wide it is. Definitely wider 
Samsung's or the uh, I'm sorry, Pix is a little bit taller. You can see the difference right there. Definitely fatter. This is kind of to me. It's kind of this is an awkward phone to hold. It just kind of feels really almost too big. They could have narrowed it up a little bit. That's just my opinion about that one. Let's go and check it out. What else we got here? This is just the regular Samsung um, S21. Let's go and check this out. This is gonna be the regular one, not the Ultra. But you can see the difference here. 6.2, I believe, versus 6.7. What else we got? We got the mini. We're just going to keep it rolling. We got the iPhone mini. Let's go and check out the mini. Definitely going to tower over the mini. What else we got? What else we got going? I'm just going to see what else I got around me here. I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, I think oh, here's the regular 13 Pro. So there you go. Okay. So here's my uh, just my first impressions. This feels like a brand new phone. I mean, when I say brand new phone, it is a brand new phone, but it just feels like almost a fresh start for Google. They might have had something with this design, with, you know, the camera, which is always a beast. This might be a fresh start in terms of them kind of getting back into it where the price point may be better for them than years past. I don't think that this is going to be a disappointment. I think that they put a lot of time and effort into this one, and this one may put them back in the ball game. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Do you like this one? Is it a hit? Is it a miss? I'm going to call it a hit, but we're going to check it out. And you know we got the cases coming up for this one. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.